In this video, we're going to try and understand why an equation of this form would give us a, a surface looking like this. So let's start by putting zero into putting the zero into the z. So when you put zero into the z, you 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 could imagine a uh, a horizontal sheet of paper where the height is. So so imagine imagine this is your your z axis, and imagine this as being negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and so on. This is negative 1, uh, sorry, this is 1, 2, 3, and so on. So when z equals 0, it means you're looking at a height. Well, this is z equals negative 1. This is at a height of negative 2, negative 3, positive 1, 2, and so on. When, when z equals 0, you're really looking at a horizontal sheet of paper at a level, at a height of 0. So, uh, so when you put... Um, when you put zero into this z, when you put zero into this z, this whole thing here will disappear, giving you this, giving you something along the line of this, uh, squared equals one. So the minute you see this, you know you're either going to get a circle or an ellipse, depending on your constants a and b. So that's why you've got a uh, uh, an, uh, a circle or an ellipse along uh, along this plane. Um, if if you um, if you increase the height, if you increase the height. Let's say if you increase the height, um, if you increase the height, then 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 you can see that um, you're going to get a smaller uh, a smaller uh, circle or ellipse up here. So so well, give, given this um, given this belt me given this um, given this uh, given this equation here, if you put zero into here, then then in your mind picture a um, a horizontal sheet of paper at a height of zero. So, uh, so you can see that this whole thing here will then become this. Uh, will then become this. Y squared over b squared equals one. So, the minute you see this, you're either going to get a circle or an, or an ellipse. Now, if you put, let's say, zero into the into the x, then this whole thing here will disappear, giving you this. So, when you put zero into the x, you've got to imagine this. Hang on. Oops. You could imagine, um, well, th this is your, bear with me, this is your x-axis. So this is when x is positive 1, uh, positive 2, positive 3, and so on. This is negative 1, negative 2, and so on. So when, when you put 0 into, into, uh, into the x, what that means is you've got a vertical sheet of paper. Well, the vertical sheet of paper here is currently 1, 2, 3. This is negative one, negative two. Well, a when you put zero into um, into the x, it means that you've got a vertical sheet of paper located at x equals zero, which would be right here. Well, if you look at this, if, if you put zero into here, this thing disappears, giving you this. The the minute you see this, you should you should either get a circle or an ellipse. That's why when x equals zero, you're going to get this circle or this ellipse, depending on Depending on your your constants, that's 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 why a long hang on. Let's start again. Uh, bear with me. So when you put zero into here, uh, you're gonna get a circle or an ellipse. Uh, so so when you put zero into here, you've got to imagine a horizontal sheet of paper here, and then you're gonna get a, a, a circle or an ellipse uh, when you put zero into the z. Now when you put zero into the x, you've got to imagine a vertical sheet of paper looking something like this. Looking something like this. Uh, when you put zero into here, this thing disappears, giving you this. Now you're going to get a circle or an ellipse along here. You're going to get a circle or an ellipse along here, along the uh, along this plane. So when you put zero into into the y, this thing here will disappear. And then, well, when you put zero into the y, you could imagine a vertical sheet of paper looking something like this, looking something like this. And again, you, you you're going to get a you're going to get a circle. Or an ellipse uh, along this along this plane. So so no matter if you put zero into here, then you're going to get a circle and ellipse. If you get a, um, a if you put a zero into here, you're going to get a circle or an ellipse. If you put a zero into here, the, the thing is it must this thing here must yield this surface this ellipsoid. That, that's the only way. If, if you if you put if you look at this if you um, if you look at the the z equals zero plane. You're gonna you're, you're gonna get a circle and ellipse. If you um, if you look at the the x x equals zero plane, 
uh, which will look something like this. Uh, you, you, you're going to have a circle and ellipse. If you look at a y, y equals zero plane, which will look something like this, you're going to have a circle and ellipse. You, you're going to have circles um, or ellipses in, in all three directions. So this is the only surface that will satisfy all, all three. I, I hope you can understand that.